What's going on, gang? CJ Curry here. We're back talking more prize picks, player props for today's Monday Night Football doubleheader. We've got the Tennessee Titans at the Miami Dolphins, as well as the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Detroit Lions. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed before, go ahead, hit that subscribe button now. It's free for you to get subscribed. And while you're down there clicking buttons, you might as well hit the like button as well. You guys keep crushing these likes. We went well over 150 likes in yesterday's video. I'd like to see if we could run that back for today's video. Now, Prize Picks is still doing a great little promo. If you're never, uh, if you've never played on Prize Picks before, uh, if you play five bucks, they're gonna give you fifty bucks back. So to take advantage of this, just go down to the description of today's video, click that special link, or use code CJ Curry. Make your first deposit, play five bucks, you're gonna get fifty bucks back. All right. So uh, typically, these primetime games are kind of ugly right kind of ugly not really fun to bet on they always kind of find a way to uh to disappoint us so let's take a look at this game uh games i should say and and kind of see what's going on here we got tennessee at miami this one's got a pretty doggone low total just 37 points expected to be scored in this one uh the miami dolphins are somehow two and a half point favorites despite losing their top two quarterbacks it'll be tyler huntley filling in uh, the veteran who's kind of been around with Baltimore uh, for the most part. He'll be the starting quarterback for the Miami Dolphins tonight. But kind of low scoring, but a tight, close, competitive game is expected to be had. If we go to the later game, the Seattle Seahawks versus the Detroit Lions, that one has a much higher implied total of 47 points. So if you're looking to target some overs, that's probably the game to target as there could be potential fireworks uh, playing in a dome faster surface and uh, higher point total here with a spread of just four points favoring the Detroit Lions. So with all that being said, what picks do I have for you today? Well, we're looking at prize picks, of course, and uh, I'm going to go off the grid, off the radar just a little bit. There's a tight end for the Tennessee Titans who has quietly been going over his receiving yards prop, and that is Josh Weil of the Titans. Uh, taking a look here at his recent games to start uh, the, the season, the last couple weeks anyway, 43 receiving yards against Green Bay, 13 against the Jets. So he's two for two in uh, recent games here of clearing this 10.5 receiving yards number. Now, the reason I'm looking at him is because I think that with Calvin Ridley and DeAndre Hopkins receiving uh, the likes of Kendall Fuller and uh, Jalen Ramsey in coverage, they're going to have to probably spread the ball around and look elsewhere. Um, a guy like Wiley, who's been, uh, or Wile, has been clearing his receiving yards prop uh, pretty regularly here early on in the season. Uh, it could be a sneaky play. Another guy that I kind of like here is Tyler Boyd the wide receiver three for the Tennessee Titans, who's sitting at 2.5 receptions. So if you're looking for something to play on the Tennessee side, I mean, it's kind of slim picking. So you, you kind of have to dig deep and kind of go off of the, the grid and, and take some of these guys who are not necessarily household names. But these two guys could be in for a little bit of a larger role, like I said, with Kendall Fuller and Jalen Ramsey out there in coverage guarding the uh, top two receiving options for the Tennessee Titans. So let's take a look at the projections for both of these. We're going to use Fantasy Labs like we do in all of our videos and the Blitz by Derek Cardi. Fantasy Labs projections are brought to you by two guys, uh, Sean Kerner and Chris Raybon, two sharp, sharp guys when it comes to fantasy football. And so taking a look at their projections here, they have Josh Weil going for 11.5 receiving yards. So his line is set at 10.5. His projection is set at 11.5. When we swing things over to the blitz, you're going to see some more favorable projections here. Let's go and uh, search for our guy Weil here. And uh, when we do that, you look at the receiving yards prop. He is projected for 19.08 receiving yards. 19.08. So that does put him well over the 10.5 marker, giving us some hope, some faith that he could potentially go over tonight. Now, when we take a look at where he's at on the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, you see that... Uh, the, the the lines are starting to change for him a little bit. You see some books have him at 9.5 still. Some books have already went ahead and bumped him up to 12 and a half and 13 and a half receiving yards. So we are getting a little bit of value here at just 10.5 receiving yards, giving him about a 51% chance of clearing this number. So hopefully things go our way. Now, what about Tyler Boyd? We talked about his 2.5 receptions. As I mentioned, Ridley Hopkins might have a difficult time tonight based on the matchups. 
Um, but Tyler Boyd, he could potentially step up to the forefront here if you kind of take a look at his recent games. Been a little bit hit or miss to start the season. Three receptions against Chicago, just two against the Jets, but he came back with three against Green Bay. So he's kind of been floating around between that two to three reception mark, hitting the over in two out of the three games to kind of start the season. As far as the projection go for Tyler Boyd, let's go over to the Fantasy Labs projection tool. We'll go over to the receptions category and uh, punch Boyd's name in there. He's projected for about 2.8 receptions, putting him closer to three than two. So that's a good projection there. And then the Blitz, they have uh, Tyler Boyd set up at, uh, let's see, 2.8 as well from what it looks like. Let's go down to the receptions category. Yeah, 2.88 to be exact. So both projection models have Tyler Boyd uh, right around that three marker, closer to three than two and i kind of like that as well as i mentioned before due to the uh the matchups for ridley and hopkins take a look at the daily grind fantasy optimizer a lot of betting interest is coming in on the over on tyler boyd's receptions as well at 2.5 almost a 52 percent chance based on the odds pulled from these different sports books that he's going to clear his line tonight of two and a half you're seeing minus 135 juice on the over on caesars minus 130 over on bet mgm so the money is coming in more so on the over than it is on the under. So if you're going to lean one way or another on a guy like Tyler Boyd's receptions, I would say you probably want to lean toward the over and kind of see what happens there. That's pretty much it from the Tennessee side. If we flip things over to the Miami side, I do like one. Uh, it is quarterback Tyler Huntley. There's going to be a lot of Tylers in today's video. Tyler Huntley making the start, as I mentioned before, for the Miami Dolphins. Um, I'm looking at the pass attempts at 25 for the over. He's gone over 25 pass attempts uh, pr quite frequently throughout his career when he does start. Um, maybe tonight's a little bit different. I don't know, but the projection models seem to really like Tyler Huntley to go over 25 passing attempts as well. So let's take a look at those projections. We'll go over here to um passing attempts and we'll type in Huntley's name there and you can see they have him projected all the way up at 28 pass attempts which is a pretty big number when you compare it to where he's at over on prize picks now what about the blitz the blitz always a little bit different that's why i like checking multiple projection models when we go over to the blitz and we look at the pass attempts for huntley there he is projected for 28.6 pass attempts putting him well over that mark on prize picks of just 25 pass attempts so things are looking pretty good here for tyler huntley as far as where he is at on the daily grind fantasy optimizer guys he is over. It looks like he is over at 25. 51.56% chance that he's going to go over 25 pass attempts. Or he could potentially tie or push here, being that it is 25 and not 25.5. But yeah, most of the books have him at 25.5. We've got two sharp NFL projection models that typically get things right more than wrong. Uh, they both like him to go over 25.5 pass attempts as well. So that was one play for the Miami side of things that kind of stood uh, st out to me as far as the other two uh games or the other game the other two teams um the seattle seahawks passing attack looks really interesting to me tonight and so somebody like geno smith possibly over 16 fantasy score kind of stood out uh another guy his top receiving target dk metcalf his fantasy score looks good as well now i know this fantasy score was at 13 at one point it has been bumped up to 13.5, so it did get a little bit of a nudge upward from the 13 to the 13.5, but uh, Gino and DK both look like they're in really good spots. And another Tyler here, Tyler Lockett, he's another guy that looks like he's in a pretty good spot tonight as well. So I told you there's going to be lots of Tylers in today's video. His fantasy score looked pretty good at 10. So let's take a look at all of these fantasy scores for Geno Smith, for DK Metcalf, and for Tyler Lockett. First and foremost, I wanted to point out that going to the quarterback position here and taking a look at what teams are giving up the most fantasy points per game to opposing quarterbacks. We look at what the Detroit Lions have done thus far against opposing quarterbacks. They're giving up about 18.1 fantasy points per game, which kind of puts them closer to the top of the field than the bottom through three games. When we take a look at the wide receiver position and what teams are giving up the most fantasy points per game to opposing wideouts, well, the Detroit Lions rank second in the NFL through three games, giving up almost 47 fantasy points per game to opposing wideouts in that three-game span. So that's quite a, a staggering number there, the second most 
only trailing behind the Washington Commanders in that category. So as far as the passing attack goes for Seattle, it looks like a good spot for both Geno Smith and the receivers, his top two guys, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. To further support my claim here, let's go over here and take a look at these wide receiver matchups. We'll start with Metcalf. Metcalf getting a massive advantage score here of 1.43. He's also getting a massive matchup score here of 0.39. To put things in perspective, that is the fourth best matchup score for any wideout on the week four NFL slate. And uh, things are looking pretty good here for DK Metcalf. Now, what about Tyler Lockett? Tyler Lockett actually has the number one matchup score. It'll be matched up with Carlton Davis of the Detroit Lions. Uh, he should see Carlton Davis the most of any cornerback for Detroit. So he gets a .44 matchup score, the highest matchup score for any week four wide receiver. As far as the advantage goes for Tyler Lockett, he gets a pretty strong 1.29 advantage score as well against Carlton Davis. So both Lockett and Metcalf in really good spots here. Let's just hope that Geno Smith isn't running around uh, from Hutchinson and he's able to actually deliver the ball to these wideouts. Uh, taking a look at some projections here for all of the guys that we talked about. Let's start with the ones that we have here for Geno Smith. Geno's taking a, taking a look at his fantasy score. He's projected for 17.72 fantasy points. Again, he's at 16 over on prize picks. So that projection looking good there. This is uh, Sean Kerner Fantasy Labs projections we're using. And then taking a look here at DK Metcalf, he's at 15.41. Remember, he's at 13.5 over on prize picks. So DK Metcalf is projecting for almost two fantasy score higher than where he's at on prize picks. And for me, that's enough for us to kind of consider the over. Here you got Tyler Lockett projected for 10.84. Slightly over, not as much of a differential as DK Metcalf. So I guess if I were choosing between Metcalf and Lockett, I'd probably go with Metcalf. And then uh, let's go take a look at the projections over here on the Blitz, starting with Geno Smith. They've got Geno Smith projected for 20.2 fantasy score. Again, he's at 16 on prize picks. It's a difference of more than four fantasy scores. So we like to try and take advantage of these opportunities. I will say this, though. We will have to shave three points off of this because they have Geno Smith going for 300 passing yards. Now, on DraftKings projections, you would get a three-point bonus for him hitting 300 or more yards. But we don't get that bonus on prize picks. So let's take three points off of this he's projected for 17.2 fantasy points still putting him over that 16 fantasy point marker take a look at <clears throat> dk metcalf here uh projected for 17.2 again over on prize picks just 13.5 so nearly four point differential there on metcalf and then we'll also take a look at tyler lockett's projection using the blitz they've got lockett all the way up at 12.28 so some very friendly projections on these guys geno smith dk metcalf and tyler lockett of these three i guess dk metcalf would be my favorite if you could only choose one of the seattle but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments section below maybe i got it all wrong here maybe the projections are wrong uh those are the picks I have. Like I said, just a two-game Monday night football slate, four teams to choose from, so it's kind of slim pickings. Lines are really sharp, and these primetime games tend to be a thorn in our side and more of a pain in the butt than uh, the games we get on Sundays. But you guys let me know. What do you think? Down in the comments section below, you liking any of these picks, hating any of these picks? Are you going to be reversing any of these picks or completely fading them and not taking them at all? I'd like to get your feedback. See what you guys are liking for tonight's double header. Appreciate all the love and support. Slap the like button on your way out, and we will catch you in another video real soon. Good luck. Peace.